What is happening everyone? It's Jesse and you guys are on my painting with Jesse Page here on Facebook. Just want to welcome all of you that are going to be joining me today. Let me lower my music a little bit. Got some fun, happy music that I'm playing. I'm going to be playing along through our little session today. How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here a little bit early like I like to be. Helps those of you that have a hard time finding the feed, find it. So I just want to uh, say that we're going to be starting right at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, that's about a little less than 15 minutes away. So somebody's already asking in the, in the comments section. Whoa. Whoa, sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong feed. Give me one second, folks. Give me one second. Got to get over to my, um, to my Facebook. Thought I was already on the feed, but apparently not. So bear with me one second. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, jump the gun a little bit. Bear with me, folks. All right, think, think I'm, think I'm about to find it. For those of you that might be asking, uh, we do have this. This is going to be a recorded session. It's going to be available immediately after the session's over. So you guys will be going right over to the uh, live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page, and you'll find the recorded session up at the top all right there we go looks like i found the feed i was on last week's yoda feed uh baby yoda feed i don't know how that happened but anyways so how's it going guys like i said i'm here a little bit early uh it helps people find the uh, feed gives people some time to see the notification pop up on the top if, if you guys aren't aware in case you guys aren't aware anytime you guys uh on the actual event anytime i've got an event on the event if you indicate that you're planning on attending right you say uh, going you click on going so what will happen after that two things one the time frame for the event changes to uh, reflect your time zone okay so that changes <clears throat> and then you also get notifications for the event reminders when the event actually starts it tells you up at the top it says hey you know painting with Jesse started their event for today that kind of stuff so anytime you guys are planning on attending one of my events please make sure that you hit going on the actual event page itself. That way you guys get all the notifications, okay? So again, just wanna remind everybody that we're here early um, so that people can find the feed. I'll be talking about all the supplies and everything that we're gonna be needing in a little bit, so uh, don't stress out too much. One of the things that comes up all the time, the main question that I always get, probably the most recurring question that I get in the feed is, hey, is this gonna be recorded? It absolutely is gonna be recorded. You'll be, be able to find the video immediately after the live session's over. You'll find it on the live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page. It's located at the very top. Simply go there, click on that, and that's where the video will be. Okay, so not sure we have a pretty good group here today. So um, it's going to be lots of fun. What's happening, Sue Kripe from Iowa? What's going on, Sue? Welcome back. Love Sue's always uh, coming and hanging out with us. So fantastic. Julie, how's it going from Ontario? Lori and Leah from Puerto Rico. What's happening, guys? Hello to Puerto Rico. I know we got a lot of people from uh, Puerto Rico following us, so that's fantastic. Lots of people from Canada and, of course, all over uh, the rest of the United States. Uh, of course, um, Puerto Rico is part of the United States, so. Uh, but let's see who else is on here. Magali. Whoops, looks like I lost your comment there, Magali. Let me, let me get back up to that. Magalie, nine years old, Alex, seven years old from Quebec. How's it going, guys? Guys, give me one sec. I'm going to turn up the air. I forgot to turn up the air conditioner in, in this place. It will get hot in here with my studio lights. So before that happens, let me get that going. There we go. Yeah, my studio lights. I got lights all over the place. And uh, throughout the session, it'll start to get really warm in here. We don't want that to happen. It's uh, actually kind of windy today here in Southern California. It's a little windy. Where I live in Southern California, it looks like it's going to rain. It hasn't started raining yet, but uh, but in my studio, it's actually a little bit warm. So, okay. But all right, let's see who else is on. Lisa Ranger, how's it going? How are you? Nella Fanuta Echeverria. I'm so excited. She says, awesome, Nella. Welcome. Deb from Connecticut, what's happening? I, I, I would attempt your last name, Bednarsik. <laughs> Bednarsik, right. Deb Benarsig Wright from Connecticut. Hopefully I got that right, or at least I came a little bit close. Welcome for, uh, I just see a scammer here. Give me a second, folks. Let me see if, I think it's already, he's already gone. Uh, other thing I want to mention is beware of scammers in the comment section. I get a lot of people jumping on here. 
uh, trying to lure you away from the page. Those of you that have been painting with me for a while already know how this works. I'll post a link in the comment section trying to get you to click on it to take you to a different page. So do not click on those. Don't touch those. Stay away from those, okay? Uh, my wife and I, my wife helps monitor the feed. Uh, we try to get rid of those as soon as we can, as soon as, as possible, but we don't always, we aren't always able to. So uh, in case you see one, ignore those those links in the feed, okay? Again, once again, those are scammers. I see one right now, um, but it looks like looks like it's already gone. So anyhow, forget that. Don't don't touch those. Anyhow, folks, here we go. We got another one right here. Bam from Page. You're gone, buddy. Delete the post. These guys are annoying, super annoying, but um, it is what it is. Jane and Gunnar from Edmonton, Alberta. What's happening, Jane and Gunnar? What's happening over there in Alberta? Okay, let's see. Alexander Higgins says, we're here from Washington State, my nine-year-old, six-year-old, and myself. Awesome. Welcome to all of you. Mika Rosenow, Rosenow, hi, how are you? Jackie Kearns, how's it going, Jackie? Hello, thanks for this. Charlotte and Logan are super excited. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Logan. Welcome, guys. So anyway, folks, we're just a few minutes away from uh, getting going on our little fun adventure today. Hopefully, you guys are already have a good have a good time. We take our time with the whole project. We don't we don't rush. But once again, I just want to remind you guys that if you guys are interested. Let's say you're not able to paint today, you're not able to paint along right now, maybe you're just kind of stopping by to say hello. The recorded session of this video will be available immediately after the live session's over. You'll simply go over to that live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page here on Facebook, and you'll find it there. Uh, I'd like to mention that uh, I'm gonna be live streaming to YouTube as well here pretty soon in the very near future. I'll probably be doing simultaneous casting to Facebook and YouTube for those of you that are interested in watching this video these videos on YouTube stay tuned for that information I should have an update later in the week I've been researching and experimenting a little bit it looks like I'm about to about to do my very first simultaneous live stream maybe tomorrow it's just going to be an experiment a little test where I do maybe a QA uh, on both Facebook and YouTube just to test out how everything works I have to be able to monitor your comments, et cetera, on both, and that might be a little tricky. So anyway, for those of you that are, I've been getting lots of people asking me, hey, when are you going to live stream to YouTube? <clears throat> so that's coming very soon. So I'll make sure you guys are aware, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that, because that's going to be a lot of fun, a whole new new uh, setup there. Also, very near future, Instagram, I'll probably just be doing our session, session uh, events on Instagram. It looks like they're opening it up to do longer ones. From what I understand, though, right now on Instagram, you're only allowed to do up to an hour long live stream. So we'll see, but I'm going to be uh, live streaming there as well. What's happening, Jay Lynn, 11 years old in Atlanta. How are you? Terry LZ says, do I have to wet my paint brushes? You do not, not yet. I'll, I'll let you guys know once we get started how that works. But if you're new to acrylic painting, which is what I'm going to be using today, some of you might be using watercolors, some of you might be using other media like colored pencils, etc. Don't worry too much. I'll talk at the beginning. I'll explain how I do my setup. Pretty basic, nothing too fancy, and I don't go into too much detail. We get to our actual art piece pretty fast, uh, pretty early in the session. Uh, but I will go over uh, some of the supplies that I use. I'll go over how I do my little setup and brushes and things like that. We'll talk about that at the beginning. But... Um, Cherry Zachmeyer, hello from North Dakota. What's happening in North Dakota? Gavin, eight years old in Tennessee. What's happening, Gavin? Welcome. Sophia from Brentwood, 12 years old. Hi, Sophia. Welcome. Hope you guys are ready to have some fun drawing and painting toothless. Lupe Cabana says hello from Chicago. What's happening, Lupe? Lisa Ranger, hi. How are you? Let's see. Joe Hammond from London. Joining us all the way up from London. Fantastic. Joe how are you? If, we're, if any of you guys are celebrating birthdays today, make sure you guys put them in the feed so we can all say happy birthday to you, okay? If some of you guys are celebrating birthdays or you're celebrating, maybe you had a birthday yesterday or tomorrow, put it in the comment section so we can all say hello to you. Now, I can't see every single comment that pops up. Sometimes they go by pretty quick, especially once we get going, but I will try to make sure, especially with the birthdays, that I don't miss those, okay? So, Ladoris from Carson. Jesse, please provide Zell information. I sure will, Adoris. I absolutely will. Thank you so much for, for asking about that. But I'll put that in later on. 
Uh, my sister is going to watch this. Who said that? Zuleika. Let's see. Whoops. Looks like I lost the comment. Sorry about that, Zuleika. See, I'll see if I can find it. Hold on, hold on. I think it was Zuleika that was saying that. Anyhow, sorry about that. Again, folks, this, the comments actually go by pretty quick on my comment section. And there's only so, so far back that I can go. I can't go all the way back. Just, uh, the further down we go into the feed, the less chance I have to go up to uh, previous comments. So I try to catch them as quickly as I can, but you guys understand. Sometimes you guys post like in groups, and so some of your comments go by really quickly. So please uh, don't think that I'm ignoring your comment or anything like that. All right? But um, what's happening, Penny Colt? How are you? Amy Rush from Ohio. How's it going? Lots of cool people here today. What's happening, Constance? Hanging out with us, at least for a little bit, it looks like. Kyla and Lily, ages 5 and 10, from Canada. Awesome, guys. Ladies, welcome, welcome. Hello from Southern Ontario, says Wesley. Oh, Wesley is 12 years old and excited to take part. We're just a couple minutes away, folks, before I actually start our little, um, our little session. So I just want to remind everybody that at the very beginnings when I talk about our setup, what, we're gonna, what I'm going to be using to paint, you guys might be using something different. For those of you that have been on here before, you guys already know um, how that works. Jeremy Dyson says, we are going to try and paint Light Fury, the Light Fury instead of Toothless. Any suggestions on best colors to do the shadows and the shading with? So Light Fury, white, a little bit of gray. So you're, so you're primarily going to be using mostly a white base, um, and then you'll do the shadowing in gray. Now, you can do a really light gray base, or you're getting really close to white, and then, then do a darker gray for the shading, and then for the highlights, you'll do white. That's probably a better option, a little bit trickier maybe, but again, so light fury would be a really light, one suge my suggestion would probably be this, a really light gray, close to white for the base, just white for the highlights, and then a darker gray for the low, uh, the low lights, the shadow parts in the painting, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, but all right, folks, let's see, let's go on here. We got one minute before we start. Emma and Jason from New Jersey. What's happening, Emma? What's happening, Jason? Let's see, who else, who else? Jacket Boy 1912 on TikTok. Joanne Gary McKenzie. TikTok, I'm coming to TikTok here pretty soon too, so be on the lookout for those. I'll be doing little tutorials on there. I, I actually uh, have been planning how I'm gonna be working this out, but I've got, I'm gonna be starting on, on TikTok here pretty soon. I'm already on YouTube. For those of you that have a YouTube page, a YouTube subscription, uh, please look me up under Painting with Jesse. Same name as on, on here on Facebook. And give me a subscribe, okay? That way I grow the channel very fast. I think I just hit about 2,000 followers this week. I'm a little over 2,000. I have it. I've been posting the old sessions. I've been adding them to my YouTube page slowly, but I am gonna start doing live streams there as well. So if you guys are on YouTube, please make sure you go and like my painting with Jesse Page. That would be great. Subscribe to it, okay? That way I get some traction there, and as I start to post my live streams, I'll already be up and running by the time things get moving. But all right, folks, it is 3 o'clock my time. It is ready. We're ready to get going. So once again, my name is Jesse. I just want to welcome all of you to my page. For those of you that are new here, what we do is we create a bunch of really cool paintings. We have both kid-friendly and then some more complicated, complex, all-ages paintings. Uh, we do about two sessions a week, usually, although I'm planning in February to try and do three sessions a week. We'll see how that works out. Still working out all the details on that. But if you guys didn't know that, now you do. Uh, if you have not yet, please make sure you follow the page. Like the page, follow the page so you get all notifications uh, going forward. I've got a lot of really fun events coming up here soon. Uh, so. Be on the lookout for those notifications. Thursday, just a really quick reminder for those of you that may not know, this coming Thursday, this is what we're gonna be painting. Three o'clock, okay, I have a little stencil available for our little bears. So if you guys go to my event page here on, on Painting with Jesse, you'll find all the details for this little polar, polar bear and Aurora Borealis uh, painting, okay? Again, that's this coming Thursday. Next week, we're doing Two paintings. We're gonna be doing this little this little sloth piece. I call I call my little sloth here molasses. 
Okay, I'll be teaching you how to draw and how to paint this entirely from scratch. I'll be uh, providing a stencil for this. I, I don't have the stencil set up yet, but uh, if you look at the information under the details tab, you'll find that stencil here over the next couple of days. Okay, then also next week, we got this cool little draft piece. Okay, so look for that information as well. Under the event tab, you'll find all the details on that. And then next week, we got our Amongus piece. Okay, so again, go over to the event tab. You'll find all these all this information under the event tab on my page. But all right, folks, enough enough chit chat. Here we go. I'd like to talk about what I'm going to be using today. Of course, I'm going to be. I, I like to paint, draw and paint on canvas. Whatever you guys are using is perfectly fine. Maybe you guys are using drawing paper, construction board, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I am going to be using. Uh, I've got a 11 by 14 inch canvas that I'm going to be bringing over here once we get started. That's what I'm going to be doing my painting on. I use paper plates. Sometimes I use styrofoam, although I try to avoid those, but I do use plates, uh, plates for my paint palette. The main colors I'm going to be using, white and black. I'll be mixing those a little bit. Toothless is actually a really dark gray on my canvas here. With, so gray with some dark gray um, sections and then a little bit of highlights throughout. Okay, but I'll be mixing those colors with white and black. Of course, his eyes are yellow green, so I've got a little bit of yellow, some green here as well. I've got the white that I'll be using for that snow, and then the shadows underneath are going to be, I'm going to be mixing some white, some blue, a little bit of black to create that kind of a uh, gray blue down at the bottom. But we'll talk about that once we get going on that. For the background, I've got a light blue. I'm going to be doing that in light blue. I'll be mixing white and blue for that. But again, this is my basic palette white, black, green, yellow, and blue. Okay, and again, I use paper plates as a palette. I do have a second plate that I like to use to mix my colors on. Okay, so I do have a second plate for that. I have a water cup. In here, I've got some water. And I've got a few brushes. Once I get painting, especially, especially for those of you that are new to acrylic painting, you want to make sure your brushes do not dry out on you in between steps. So once we get to painting, we, I throw these inside my water cup. Really quick, let me go over the size of my brushes. I've got this three quarters inch flat brush. Okay, I got a new set of brushes here that I'm gonna be using today. But uh, three quarters inch, inch flat brush. Okay, if you guys have an inch one, if you guys have a half an inch one, you're perfectly fine. Okay, I've got this number six flat brush. These are all synthetic bristle brushes that I like to use, okay? Uh, synthetic bristle brushes, but again, number six flat, this is about a quarter inch thick brush okay then I've got a little number two flat okay number two flat this is about an eighth of an inch if you have again if you have something similar in size you're good to go don't stress too much about the sizes or the numbers as long as you got something similar you'll be okay then I've got a zero round this zero brush little pointy thing um, small is really good for detail work okay so that's what you'll be using for all your detail work like I was saying, in between steps, my brushes sit in my water, just like that. Okay, so even though we haven't started painting, I just go ahead and put those in there for now. Uh, I also have paper towels. Things get messy in here, so paper towels come in handy. Whoops, pencil with an eraser for drawing. Okay, we're going to be drawing with that. And then I do have a, a hair dryer handy in my studio in case we need to do any quick drying. I like to bust out my hair dryer and I just blow right on the canvas and um, dries things up really quickly. For those of you that might be interested in knowing what kind of brushes I use, so probably the brand that I use the most, although this varies a little bit, this isn't the only brand that I use, is the Fine Touch. Okay, you can order these online from Amazon. Simply look up the Fine Touch if you're interested. This is a $10 pack. It's got a really wide variety of brushes. Probably anything you can do with a, with a paintbrush, you'll find a, a paint brush in here that fits that type of uh, painting for your basic types of types of uh, art okay uh, there's sponge brushes there's fan brushes things like that but the brushes that I pulled out that I just showed you were all in here this is a variety pack a good little starter pack there's 25 pieces in here again this is ten dollars and I'm trying to remember I think I, I think I got this either Hobby Lobby or Hobby Lobby or Michaels so anyhow for those of you that are interested in knowing my brushes, the first brand that I use. All right, folks, who's ready to start? I think we're all ready to start, so let's get going. I'm going to flip things around here. 
I am going to be mon monitoring the feed using my laptop so that I can see your questions, comments, etc. We're going to be drawing first. We're going to draw toothless completely from scratch first. I know some of you guys have the stencil, the little tracer, traceable <clears throat> that I provided. Um, that I provided by email or it was on the event page. You guys, some of you guys might have grabbed it from the event page on the discussion board. So in just a little bit, I'm going to wear gloves here. This is the first time I'm wearing gloves. I'm going to draw some gloves. But when I paint, my hands get super messy. We'll see how this works out uh, with me drawing and painting. I used to, when I, when I painted with oil paint, I still, I still do, just not, in, not as much anymore. I always used to wear nylon, uh, nylon gloves because oil gets really, can be really messy and can get all over the place. But anyway, I'm going to try this today with the acrylic paints. I do tend to get a lot of paint all over my hands. And just to avoid a little bit of, uh, I mean, to clean up my hands, sometimes they stain and the paint lasts a couple of days on them. So, anyhow, all right. I'm going to bring the camera in close. Again, I am going to be drawing first. We're going to draw together. I'm going to give you guys a nice close-up of everything that I'm doing, so bear with me. Trying to make sure that we got both canvases. A really good view of both canvases. Oh, let me make an adjustment on that. All right, folks. Like I said, we're going to get moving here pretty quickly. I've got a real basic pencil. This is a number two graphite, okay, with the little eraser on it. That's what we're going to be drawing with. You guys can draw with whatever you've got. All right. Give me one sec, folks. Here we go. Like I said, I'm going to be monitoring the feed on my laptop in between steps. I'll be looking over at those comments to answer questions and things like that. I'll let you know when I'm looking at the comments. So if you guys have something to say, you guys can put it up there while I'm actually looking at the screen in between the steps. So as I'm paint, drawing and painting, though, it's difficult for me to keep track of those comments. So be beware of that. Be aware of that. I can't, I'm not going to be able to see every single comment. But all right, folks, here we go. Let's look at Toothless. For those of you that, got your, that have your stencil, go ahead and put it on your canvas. Lay it down, trace out the edges. Whenever I start to fill the inside in, that's when you're going to come in and start to add that to the inside of your, of your trace. Those of you that are drawing with me, here we go. I'm going to lower my music a little bit for now. Once we get to the painting part of it, I'll turn it up. But what I want everyone to do is this. I don't know what size canvas you guys are using or what size paper, but you don't want to start drawing things so large that when you get to the body, you're, you, you have to cut off part of toothless. Okay, what I want you guys to do is gauge the sizes of everything that you're going to be doing. So toothless's head is going to be up in here somewhere. So I'm just going to do a really quick, all I'm doing is blocking things out right now. Okay, again, those of you that have your stencil, go ahead and start tracing yours out if you haven't yet. Okay, I'm just gauging on my canvas where everything's going to be. So toothless's body is going to end, maybe end up somewhere over here. I know my pencil lines are really, really light. Again, so the feet, actually probably somewhere down here. Just make sure you're, you're going to give yourself enough space all the way around for everything. You got the tail, you got the, the horns on top, and of course, the feet. Again, we don't want to start. We don't want to start drawing and then all of a sudden find out that we don't have enough room for everything. So you want to do a quick visual and go, okay. My head's going to be about right here. The bottom of the feet are going to be about right here. Maybe the neck's going to be about in here. Tail's going to be over here somewhere. Um, you just want to gauge it, again, to give yourself enough space to be able to include everything. I'm going to bring the camera forward a little bit more, and here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Toothless's head. Okay, Toothless's head is a little at a little bit of an angle. Kind of does this. His head is shaped kind of like an onion. So starting down here somewhere, watch how I hold my pencil, nice and loose, nothing fancy. We are going to be doing some erasing. Here we go. Bottom of his head kind of does this. And I'm, I start really light with my pencil lines, and then in a, in a little bit, I start to darken them up. So here's the bottom of his head. Okay. 
And that is down in here somewhere, underneath the mouth, underneath the chin. His head is shaped kind of like an onion, so it comes up over the top. A little bit like an onion, the general shape is. We make adjustments as we go, okay? So there's the general shape. We'll be adding the horns and everything else here in just a little bit. But first, what I want you guys to do is get that, get the general shape of the head. And again, you want the, the head to be slightly at an angle like this, not straight across. If you want, you can make this, the head straight across. It's not going to be a problem. But if you kind of want to match this, you want to do it at a slight angle. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to add a couple of horns right up in here. We have a little horn that comes up. It's almost, it's basically like a triangle. If you look at it as a shape, it's a triangle with a curved, with a longer curved edge on one side. Instead of straight edges, you have maybe this one's kind of straight, but this one's kind of curved. Or also it looks like a shark's fin, right? The fin on a shark. Okay, so there's one horn, come over to the other side and do the same thing. The one on this side is a little bit smaller because of the perspective of Toothless's head. He's slightly, his head's slightly cocked. No big deal. If they're the same size, that's okay too, okay? Let me look at the feed here real quick, make sure you guys are all able to see what I'm doing. All right. Now, once I've got the general shape of the horns and of the head that I want, I go ahead and darken them in a little bit. You guys wanna make sure you guys are using really light pencil lines, okay? Nothing dark so you can erase. I'm just gonna lighten it up down, lighten the bottom part of the head a little bit and I'm going to stop right there as far as darkening in, my, darkening in my lines. Okay? So here at the top, I'm going to do a little bit of erasing. Again, light pencil marks so you can erase. I have one little horn. Comes up. Comes back down. Okay? Comes over. So the little horn goes up, comes back down, goes over, and then it comes up to the other horn. And then that comes down, connects to the to the big horn. You can go in there and erase any of the extra little lines around the area. So I'm actually drawing darker than I normally would, so that you guys can all see what I'm doing. Okay, again, really light pencil marks is what you want to be using. So it makes it easier to erase them. So take a moment on that. Let's look at those comments, folks. Let's see who's on here. What do you guys got? We got about 355 devices on right now. Okay. What's happening, Susie and Jason from Canada? Let's see. The green, somebody's asking. Looks like Mike is asking, why do you have green? So what I do with the green is I mix it with my yellow a little bit and I paint around the edges of the eyes on the outside. So this is actually a really light green. But if you use yellow on yours or even just green, that'll be just fine, okay? Patty Juby says, where can I get the stencil? You can either email me directly at paintingwithjesse at gmail.com or, sorry, these are ears. These aren't horns, these are ears. Um, you can either email me directly at paintingwithjesse.com, paintingwithjesse at gmail.com, or you can go to the event page and look under the discussion tab. You'll see the stencil there. All right, so here we go. Next step. Right here on the edges, on the sides, these little guys right here. They look like little horns or parts of his face. So right down in here, we're gonna come out, come back in, they're just little points, okay? Got two of them. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger to connect. They both connect. Again, folks, nice and light with your pencil line so you can erase. Even though we're going to be painting over the top of this, you don't want your pencil lines to come through the paint. Some of my, some of my paint, most acrylic paint is a little bit transparent, and the darker your pencil lines, the easier it is to come, the, for them to uh, be visible underneath the paint. The nice thing is that we're going to be painting with gray paint, so it's going to cover up most of those pencil lines, most of the pencil lines if they do happen to come through. 
but maybe some of you guys aren't, paint, aren't going to be painting yours. Maybe you're just going to make a drawing out of it. But okay, over to the other side, right up in here. We're going to come out, come back, up, back down. And these are a little bit too big for me, so I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. Drawing is about making little adjustments as we go, all part of it. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to go and erase this line that's in here in between the two, the line that we did at the beginning when we did the general shape of the head. I'm also going to come in here and erase this. There we go. From time to time, make sure you take a little step back. Look at your drawing from a little bit of a distance. I'm going to make a little correction down here. I'm just going to make it a little flatter, a little too curved for me, but I'm just going to take this and flatten it out a little bit so it's not quite as curvy as before. Okay, It's a real minor change, but it does make a little bit of a difference. So again, from time to time, take a step back, look at your drawing, and see where you need to make, a little, make your little adjustments. Okay, let's look at the mouth. Mouth starts over here, okay, comes over, dips down a little bit, comes back up, and curves back over to the side. So somewhere over here, we're going to start a little line that comes down, drops down like this, comes over, and then back towards the side of the face, okay? For those of you that don't have your stencil, uh, sorry, the, for those of you that are using the stencil, if you, if you, I don't remember the stencil, if I included that on the stencil, if not, you want to come in and go ahead and draw that in. The other thing I want you guys to do is this. So this right here is a little further over to the left. Okay, right, it's not in the middle of the face. So the, if, the, if we did the middle of the face, that would be like right across here. But because his face is slightly turned, this is actually the middle of his face. So from right here where the little point is, again, you want to make sure it's a little over to the left. You're just going to draw a little line that curves towards the top of the head, just a little bit like this. Kind of like that. We're going to erase that in a little bit. What I want to show you guys is two things. That's the curvature of his face, and then that's the middle of the face. That line right there is about right in here. Follows where those horns are down the middle of the face, in between, goes in between the nostrils, so now you have ge the, the general idea of where that face is, or where the middle of the face is. So what we're going to do next is we're going to draw these eyeballs, these large eyes. So right over here somewhere, okay, you're going to start with a little point. It's going to curve over, okay, like that. It's going to come down a little bit. And then it's going to curve under and back over, and it's going to connect right there. Again, looks like almost like this is the top of a triangle and this is the base. Kind of triangular, kind of, with curved edges. Okay? So this eye over here is going to start somewhere over here. It's also smaller, again, because of the perspective of the head. This eye is smaller and shorter. So it goes like this. Condensed like this. It's actually, no, it's not, it isn't so much shorter, but it is uh, condensed like this. So, right in here somewhere, a little line that goes up. It's also, it's also a little bit higher up. So, this part is a little higher than this. Curves back, curves under and up. Okay, work on that for a moment. I'm going to give you guys about a minute. Again, in between steps, I'd like to look at the comment section and see what we got. <laughs> Zach Christensen says, everyone say vote, for, vote Jesse for president. <laughs> Sounds awesome, Zach. All right, guys, let's see. Any birthdays today? Who's celebrating a birthday? Put it in the comments so we can say hello and happy birthday to you. Natalia, how's it going? Tasha, hi, how are you? Nicole Smith, how's it going?
Did somebody, is somebody, uh, I think I saw somebody saying something to uh, Happy Birthday Cruise. Maddie is going to be, Maddie's birthday is January 31st. Melinda turned eight on January 5. Lots of January birthdays. What's up, Jesus? Zach says, I'm a fishy boy. Happy birthday, Darlena Aguirre. Ava, eight from Tennessee. How's it going? Kyle Chung says, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Kyle. All right, here we go, guys. Next step. So, let's do the little nostrils. A little nose holes, little nostril holes right here. Two little holes. One, two, okay? Now we can go ahead and erase this line that we made for the middle of the face. We can erase it. Get that out of there. Whoops. This guy's about to topple over. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Don't want to knock anything over. But it sometimes happens. All right, maybe these are a little too, too far apart. Let me bring them, these a little closer. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the inside of the eyes. So this little curved line for the black part of the eyes, we're gonna go right about right here. Curves up, connects to the top. Okay. I'm gonna go and do a little white circle for this little reflection in the eyes right in here. Okay. Now let's look over at the other eye. From right here, we're gonna curve over and down. Just like that. Another little curved center, a little circle for the center for the toothless as a little reflection is. Okay, work on that for a moment. Lisa Dong says, art is my favorite subject. Fantastic. Hi, Chloe, seven-year-old Chloe. Josiah Miranda is doing this solo, and he's eight. He loves the way you draw. Awesome. Hi, hi Josiah. Thank you for being here, and glad you are hanging out drawing with us today. Let's see. Jennifer Vanderberg says, my birthday was January 15th. I got my paint supplies as a present. Lucy, nine years old. Oh, hi, Lucy. It's your birthday, uh, your birthday was January 15th. Happy birthday to you. Let me see. Pigeon Lake, what is that, a school? Joanna says, Joanne Gary says, can you give my school a shout out? It's Pigeon Lake. It's a, let me see if I can get back to the comp, old school, so please. Pigeon Lake, hi Pigeon Lake School. All right, folks, here we go. Next one, what we're gonna do now, all we've got left up here is to add the little horns in here. We're gonna start with the one on the top. All these guys are little triangles. Little triangles, is, this one sticks out the top of the head. It's got a rounded little base, okay? We're gonna do another one right below. Just think triangles. Triangle, curved little bottom. Another one, triangle, Curved at the bottom. Look kind of like that up close. How's it going, Elizabeth and Charlie from Florida? Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the face. Let's take a look at that head. Make sure we not, we're not missing anything. All right. We're good. Toothless is looking good. Time to work on that body now. So here we go. We're going to start with this line over on this side. We're actually going to start right about right in here. We're going to draw a little line that comes down like this. Again, keep your pencil lines nice and light. Nothing heavy, nothing hard. You want to be able to erase. What we're going to do with this line comes out a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, not too far. Okay, from there we're going to curve it down. Whoops, let me turn, the, let me turn my canvas towards me a little bit. Get a better view. <clears throat> and gotta keep from knocking stuff over. So this line comes down, curves back under. Okay? Nice and loose, folks. Nice and light. 
nothing nothing too heavy so we can erase them right if we make a make a mistake <clears throat> so this right here this line is actually this one right here that right there okay right here at the top where these two lines connect we're just going to erase a little bit now there's an opening between this line and this line Okay, we're leaving a little little tiny gap right there. Nothing nothing too too big. Just a small gap between those two lines. Now, <clears throat> over to the other side of the neck. Right over here somewhere. Okay? Right about over here. That's this part right here. We're going to come down. Back. Okay? And then curves back under. Notice how I'm making all these lines, all these loose lines. In a little bit, I'm going to correct all of this and erase some of them. Okay? So this right here is Toothless's back. And this should be a little bit more curved, so let me fix that. Again, everyone, erasing is all part of it. Once you have the correct line, you go through there and just do a little bit of erasing. And voila! Nothing wrong with having to erase. So right down here is this part right here. Okay, I'm just going to bring this forward. Not too far. Okay. That right there is the bottom of that foot. Okay. Give you guys a moment to catch up on that. Let me turn it towards you a bit. You guys got about a minute and we move on. Let's look at those comments. Aaron DeBilo, DeBilo from... Uh, from Springfield, Oregon. How's it going, Aaron? Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but have fun with it. Somebody's mentioned in the comment section, it's a little hard, it's kind of hard, but and it is a little, okay? Just have fun with it, take your time. If you want to come back and do it again, try it again later on today, you'll get a chance. The video will be, will be recorded. The video is being recorded, and it'll be available on the, on the live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page. So simply go over there, and you come back and try it again, okay? Kai's birthday, July 16th. <laughs> we got a way to go for that birthday, Kai. Somebody says, do a Minecraft stream to make. Minecraft is coming up. What's up, Molly and Cheryl? How are you girls? Harry Potter, Harry Potter's coming up, Natalia. See, Bargavi says my birthday is January 20th. So tomorrow, Bargavi, is what it sounds like. Happy early birthday to you. Roblox. We're also going to be doing Roblox, Roblox pretty soon. Delilah from Pennsylvania. Hi, Delilah. Ava, birthday February 24th. Happy birthday to you in February, Ava. All right, here we go, guys. Let's continue on. So, again, this line right here is this part of the chest. Okay? Okay. And you guys see how it stops right here? That's about right here. This line that comes back is this. This little corner is that right there. This is the bottom of that foot. So right up in here, we're gonna grab this line. We're gonna go up to about there and then we're gonna angle it down like this, okay? And that's gonna come over and goes curves back towards the body a little bit. And then we curve it back out, turn it, Okay, and then that goes back up and connects up here. That, of course, is that front foot right there. Just going to do a little bit of a correction right here again. You want to be able to erase, so nice and light with your pencil lines. Don't worry about having to erase. It's all part of the drawing process. I know, some people don't like to erase. They don't like all the smudges and stuff. As long as you keep your, your lines light, you should be able to erase them, no problem. Okay, all right. So there's that foot. I'm gonna come up here, right up in here. Right up close to the top of this curve right here. This line curves. Kind of, I'm gonna come in just a little bit. Put a little, little mark down. That is the top of that. We're going to bring this down, curve it out. 
Look at my hand. I'm placing it right on the canvas. It helps support my drawing hand a little. Comes down. Goes back over. Okay, now we're drawing this part right here, this foot. Again, for those of you with the stencil, maybe this wasn't part of your stencil. I don't remember what I, what I did with it exactly now. So don't know if you have this part, but if you, if you have it, then of course, you probably already put it in. But if you don't have it, this is where you come in, right? Same as with this line right here. This comes back over, under. Curves back up. I'm painting on an easel, drawing on an easel. My drawing hand goes right here. Up, back. Okay, of course that part is that part. Now right up in here, right in here somewhere. See how this line comes up right above it? You got this line? So find a little spot up in here. So this line comes up, stops here. Have a little space, a little gap, a little line that comes up like this. We're almost there, everyone. We're almost to the painting part of it. Now what we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add a bigger foot. So I didn't bring it out far enough. Now we're going to make a little correction right in here. That's this right here. Okay. A little foot comes over like this. I'm also going to bring this in a little, a little tiny bit. Remember what I said about being able to erase, make little corrections as we go. It's a little too far back, so I'm just going to shorten it a little, a little bit. So again, it's a little too far out. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. There we go. I like that a little bit better. Okay. The top of the foot right here comes back. and then right over the top. We make some corrections here, gonna clean up some of these lines. I'm not gonna do the nails right now, I'm gonna do those later. After we paint, I'm going, to, I'm going to come in here and add the nails to the to our drawing, but for now we're leaving those out. But we do have this other foot that's over on this side. Okay, this foot goes out and goes under, right down in, underneath here, this foot. So back here, it's going to make a little line that comes out like that. Let me clean this up a little. If you guys are falling behind, don't forget, the video is being recorded. Okay, go, uh, Keep up for as long as you can, and if you have to, you, you can come back and finish with the recorded session, okay? That's if you fall too far behind. Do your best to keep up, but again, if you happen to fall behind, you can always come back to the recorded session and finish with that. Okay, so then right over here, where this line would come out on this side, we're just going to have a nice little curved line that goes over. And that again is that foot right there. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to kind of finish those steps up. I know I went kind of quickly through those. We still got the wings and we got the tail. Okay, so take a moment with that. All right, looking at the comments section. Let's see, could you do D JDM cars like Nissan Skyline and a 98 Supra? Those types of cars. Maybe, I've had a few people suggest cars, so yeah, maybe we're going to be doing that. Okay, we might be doing that. All right, guys, let's see. What other comments do you guys have for me? I've had a few requests for Light Fury. I am going to be doing Light Fury pretty soon too. Maybe next month, okay? So be on the lookout for that. Light Fury is coming. 
Also, last week we did we did Baby Yoda. Uh, Baby Yoda. We're gonna be doing um, uh, come back and uh, sorry, do uh, Mandalorian. Lost my train of thought for a moment. Mandalorian's coming pretty soon. Okay, back here. Let's start with the tail. Right in here, okay? So up, if you come from this little point over here, just gonna come up a little bit. Okay, and it goes like that. This line here is the bottom part of your tail line. And it curves out, comes up. Okay, about like that. We're gonna go up into a point, curve it up a little bit. That's that part there. Maybe I don't wanna go up that high. And then from the from right there, we're gonna curve a line back. And it gets a little thicker, right? It's skinny at the top and gets a little thicker as we get closer to the bottom. So here we go. There's that tail. Okay, now let's go ahead and make a little fins. So here at the top, I'm gonna to start with, with this side over here, near the top of the point of the tail. Right here at the top, just gonna to come out. Nice little line that comes out like this. Then we're going to do this, curve the line, curved line. So curved line comes out to a point, another curved line to another point, and then that goes back to the tail. A goat, a wolf, good suggestions. Liliana, uh, so the stencil is available if you go to the event tab. If you go on the actual event tab under the discussion board, I posted the stencil there so you can copy it. You can copy it from there and then print it. Or you can email me at paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Ask for that stencil and I'll, I'll send it over to you, okay? Uh, as a PDF file. Okay, other side. Here we go. Curves out to a little point. Comes back down. Curves out again. Comes back down. It's almost like we're making teeth. Connects down like this. So then right here, we have the little line where it connects to the tail, a little strap that connects all this to the tail. Maybe we have two. I know on the original I only did one. I'll put another one right here. Let me give you guys a close-up. I, I noticed somebody in the comments mentioning something about uh, this being a little difficult. Again, folks, you can come back and do this as many times as you want, right? Practice makes perfect. Also, I mentioned if you fall, if you're falling behind, come on back, stay long, keep up as long as you can, and then come back and finish with a recorded session if you have to. I mean, I prefer you guys to do the live, right? It's more fun for me and kind of cool to see interactions in the comment section. But if you, if you fall behind, you know, come on back and do that. Um, do this with the recorded session. You can pause it, you can back it up, that kind of stuff. Okay. So, all right, what's missing? two wings okay so you guys got about a minute then we're gonna start on those wings Pokemon we've done a Pokemon we do have a Pokemon we've got a we got a, I think we did Bob the Minion a few months ago we've done I think we did Spongebob also a Narwhal that's some pretty cool stuff on this page. If you guys are new and you guys want to go see all the, any of the previous sessions, you guys are interested in going back and looking at the old sessions, everything is saved under the live tab on the main Painting with Jesse page. You guys can go check those out and uh, follow along with any of those recorded sessions, okay? A peacock, says Dev Cohen. Mean Girls, ooh, that's, that would be an interesting one. Sully would be cool. Uh, I did Moz, I think, a few, week, a few months ago. Patrick, Patrick from SpongeBob. Did we do Patrick yet? I don't think so. I don't think we've done Patrick yet. Cakes. 
Another Pikachu vote. <laughs> That's right, Suzanne. Needed eraser is your friend, especially in times like this. Winnie the Pooh. Got, a really, got some really nice suggestions going on in, that, in the comments feed. Appreciate those. All right, folks, here we go. Let's go with, the, let's go with those wings. We're going to start with this one over here. Just want to point out, this connects about right in here, which would be right up over here somewhere. You want to leave yourself a little bit of space, right? Don't start it too high because then your wing's going to be a little high up. So about down in here somewhere. This is the top part of my wing. Comes out. And then it quickly, sharply turns up. Okay, and then gets real close to the face and then it swings out. From there, kind of like what we did with the, the fins back here. Look, but much much larger. We have a curved line that goes down like this. Another curved line that goes like this. Okay. One more. Gets us close to the body, and then one more. And yours can have more of these. You have however many sections you need to get to the uh, back to the body. Okay. I'll run this side. Actually, I'm going to give you guys about a minute on that wing. I know it could be a little tricky. Groot says Caroline, or is that Sully? I think Sully's saying Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, that's a good one. I like Groot. Lion King, Avatar the Last Airbender, Naruto. Good suggestions, everyone. Love those. Dragon Ball Z. I'm looking over at the comment section. In case you guys didn't get that. Zelda. Just reading some of the suggestions that are coming up in the comments section. Dolphins. King from the Owl House. Iron Man. Squidward. I think we did Squidward. I don't remember. We might have. Shrek. Mario. Let me see. The, cr the Crids. Crudes, New Age, Stitch. We did Stitch a few months ago. The video's still up. Another King from the Owl House, Tiger, A Tiger, Mario, lots of Mario suggestions. JDM Cars, because I'm a car. <laughs> Something did, didn't finish. Unicorn, we did a unicorn a few weeks ago. Manatee. All right, guys. Here we go. Next, other wing now, over on the other side. Again, leave your, make sure you leave a little space in between the bottom of the head and where you're going to start your wing so you can make sure you have enough space to have that wing angle up, angle up a little bit. Okay, so I come down a little bit. This curves up. Don't forget, light pencil lines will also help. Curves up, gets close to the face, then it comes out like that. And you can start it from here if you want, here at the bottom. Curve a little line out like that. Goes back up and over. You can start it from either direction, top, down, or from the bottom, up. And then connect them. These little, I have these little lines inside that you can barely see. I'll add those with paint later. But take a little step back. Let's take a look at our toothless, make sure we have everything. The only thing left is the snow bank, the, uh, the, the horizon line for our snow. We can add that in now if we want. I'll go ahead and do that. So somewhere up in here, uh, let's see. I'll do it right up here. Comes over, touches the wing over there, and then over here on the other side of the body, comes out over here somewhere. Wherever you want to put your snow line, your horizon line is perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to catch up on all the drawing. I know there's a lot of little steps there. <clears throat> if you guys are a little bit behind, it gives you guys a bit of a chance to catch up. We're going to start painting in just a moment. So be ready for that. Just remind, want to remind you guys again what we got coming up here. 
over the next couple of weeks. Hang on one second, folks. I gotta, I gotta go find my feed on my phone so I can follow along with your comments because my laptop is dying. getting not prepared. Here's what's coming up on Thursday, for those of you that don't know. Okay. In case you guys missed it at the beginning, we have this cool polar bear and aurora borealis lights painting. This is quite a bit more complex than today because of all the stuff in this. As far as the painting part of it, quite a bit more complex. There are stencils available for this. You'll find the details on the event tab on the Painting with Jesse page. Okay. You guys can go find that if you guys are interested. Next week, we've got molasses. Molasses the sloth that we're going to be drawing and painting. I don't have a stencil for that yet, but I will have one available over the next couple of days. Go check that out on the event page. Okay, again, this is next week. I believe this is Tuesday. And then next week as well, the following Thursday, We got this really neat giraffe painting. All the details on that event page, go check those out. And then February 2nd, Among Us. You guys are Among Us fans? Come join me February, I believe this is February 2nd. Okay, there's that. So be ready for those. And then folks, for those of you that, whoops, let's see, give me one second. For those of you that might be interested in helping support the page, I do have a virtual tip jar, okay? This information is all listed under the, script, the, the description of the video. So you guys can go back to the description of the video and you'll find this there. But I have a Venmo, at Painting with Jesse, okay? All one word, at Painting with Jesse. You can also find me under my, my email at paintingwithjesse at, at gmail.com, paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. PayPal, paypal.me forward slash painting with Jesse, all one word. Okay, that's my PayPal there. And then I do have Zelle at 951 217 2237. 951 217 2237. Okay? So again, Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. But all right, folks, here we go. Let's do a little bit of painting. Let's talk about the painting. Let me lower my music a bit. So I'm going to start painting the inside of Toothless first. And for that, I'm going to be mixing a little bit of a gray color. Okay, I've got my black and my white here on my plate. So what I'm going to do, especially again, if, if there's any of you out here that are new to um, acrylic painting, I take out my big brush here, my big three quarters inch brush. I use a paper towel to clean out, squeeze out any excess paint. I take my plate here and bring some black over my, I got my blank plate here. This is my mixed plate. I'm going to grab some of my black paint with my brush. I bring it over and then I'm going to take quite a bit of white. I'm going to do this. I want a dark gray <clears throat> because this is going to be my base color. I just keep, 
I'm just going to add some gray or black until I get the gray that I want. This is not the darkest gray. This is this gray right in here. I have a dark gray that I'm going to be applying over the top. And there are some sections where I apply a lighter gray, but that's really minor. So here we go. Looks about right. We're almost there. Here we go. Okay. Paint. Let's start with the body first. Actually, I'm going to switch brushes. I just wanted to use that for my to mix the paint. I'm going to switch over to my number six flat brush, my little quarter inch brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to outline everything first. Now, all these lines that we did on the inside, those are eventually going to be black. <clears throat> okay, but I want to leave a little tiny gap so that I can see them. I don't want to cover them up with my pencil marks, I mean with my paint. I don't want to cover those pencil lines up with my paint. So what I'm doing is I'm leaving little tiny gaps so I can still see them through the paint, but I am outlining those. I outline the body all the way up. Outline the chin. I want to outline my feet. Then we're gonna once we've outlined everything, we're gonna fill everything in. Now again, folks, I want you guys to pay kind of close attention here. All of this stuff is outlined in black. So all these little lines in, on the inside, this is all in black. I want to be able to see them a little bit so they can come back and outline those later. Okay, once I've got my outline all in place, now I can switch back to my big brush. The little brush that I was just using goes right back into the, that water cup in between steps. Whenever you use a brush, you want to put it back into your water cup. Here we go. The big brush allows me to cover much larger areas of the canvas much more quickly. If I'm using a little brush, sometimes I can take a long time to do the big areas. So this is what I use my big brush for. Now I'm using, once I've got everything covered, I use long brush strokes to smooth things out. Don't forget the little foot over here. There we go. Okay, work on that for a moment. Star Wars, Yoda. Seeing more comments. More requests. Those are all awesome. Star Wars. Lots more Star Wars coming also. We did, uh, Man like I said, we did Baby Yoda a couple of weeks ago. Or last week, we're going to be doing Mandalorian soon also. Bear with me one sec, folks. I'm... 
getting my live feed on my other phone set. All right, there it is. Okay, here we go, let's continue. So back to my little brush. I cleaned it up a little bit because it's sitting in my, in my water cup and I don't want all that water to be dripping everywhere. So I'm gonna come in and paint the tail. Now this color that I'm using is a little darker than the original gray. It just happened to be the case. It still works. You don't have to have a, the exact same color that I've got. Okay, up here. We've got the two little straps that we want to be careful with, so I leave a little opening in between them so I can come back and do those in brown later. So this fin over here is gray also. Do the wings now. Other wing. So because these are a lot smaller, I'm using I'm staying with my small brush. says so hard please need easy <laughs> yes this is a little bit difficult it can be a little difficult but take your time have fun relax enjoy the enjoy the process okay it's all about having fun everyone's paintings gonna look a little different so don't stress too much okay also I'm gonna be requesting that you guys send me pictures of your masterpieces when you're all done as I always do you guys will be sending them to me on messenger at painting with Jesse it's the easiest way for me to keep track of them. I like to share. Once you guys send me all your pictures and stuff, sometime later today or tomorrow, I'll share a post where I include all of your pictures and people, pe people can come and see how everyone else did. A lot of you guys get really creative and add stuff and change things up and that's pretty cool. So, all right, here we go. Let's work on that face. Okay, so back to my little skinny brush, my little small brush, right? Little number six, brush is gonna get the most work, most use today, so I'm outlining the ears. And outline all the face first. If you guys are having a hard time with whatever brush you're using, maybe you need to go to a smaller brush. If you're having a hard time staying within your lines and stuff, so switch to a smaller brush if you have one. under so the mouth I'm going to do a little bit of outlining where I leave a tiny little gap so I can still see it doesn't have to be perfect as long as I know where it is I can come back in with black later and refine that line we're good okay let's outline the eyes okay just like that Be careful with the horns. Obviously those are all gonna be dark. And I'm gonna cover them up. I'll come in with black and once I outline them in black, they'll stand out.
Same with the nostrils. I want to leave little tiny gaps in between the... <clears throat> between the paint so I could still see them. There we go. So this is the first layer of paint. I'll probably do a second layer. We'll see here once once everything starts to dry a little bit better. We'll see. All right. All right. So work on that for a moment. Olivia says, Eevee, Blastos, Vulpix, these are all Pokemon. What's up, Mael from Calgary, Canada? She says, or he says, sorry, not sure. I'm not sure if it's boy or girl, but the name is interesting. Mael from Calgary, Canada says, this is fun. Hi, Mael. Monica Viega says, what if we need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> go ahead and run to the restroom and come back. Paint yourself. Ooh, that's a good one. Everybody gets to paint themselves. Okay, guys, next step. I'm going to take one of my small brushes. My number two flat. My little eighth inch, eighth inch brush. What's up, Aaron? How's it going? The Millennium Falcon. I'm going to take a little bit of black. Just black. Right in here. Paint the inside of the black part of the eye. Careful, we stay on the inside of our lines. Okay. And we're going to do the other side also. Sounds fun, I don't you're still doing your homework, huh? Jackaboy1912 on YouTube. All right, Jackaboy, make sure you go follow. Follow me, I'm painting with Jesse, okay? So again, taking my little brush, and I'm just going around the eyes. Again, folks, don't worry if you fall behind. Do your best to keep up. But if this is too fast for you, you can go back when this is all done. You're going to go find this painting or the session under the live tab on the main painting of Jesse Page. Brenda Page says, Harry Potter. Oh, Monica says, oh, my, my real name is Genevieve. Genevieve. All right, Genevieve. I know lots of you guys are using your parents, one of your parents' Facebook pages. Cool. Hi, Jalen. Jalen says, this is so fun. Okay, so we did the outline around the eyes. You guys have about one minute. What we're going to do next is we're gonna actually going to start, we're going to take some black, our black, and start outlining all kinds of stuff so things start to pop out. Okay, all the little outlines around stuff, and then... We'll come in and add some highlights. And, yep, so you guys got about 30 seconds now.
Light Fury and Night Lights. That's a good one. Hi, Alda. Shaza, no worries if you missed it. Remember, the video will be available after the live is over. Okay, for any of you that are just jumping on here realizing that maybe you missed it, the recorded session will be available immediately afterwards. Okay, everyone, check this out. I'm switching over to this Zero round brush, little tiny pointy thing. Okay, I'm going to take some black right from my main plate. I'm just going to grab, scoop up a bunch of black like this. I'm going to bring it over to my mix plate right in here somewhere. I'm going to take my brush now. I dip it into my water cup. I'm going to bring some water over and I mix it with my paint. This is going to make it easier to make outlines with my paint by mixing that water in there. It makes it a lot easier to work the paint onto the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to do this a couple times. More black, I bring it over, a little bit of water, mix it in really nicely. You don't need a lot of paint for this, but so once I've done this a few times, or a couple times at least, now I'm going to take my brush, push it up against the plate, and I spin it as I pull away. What that does is it makes my point really skinny. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to do some outlining. Okay, so what, what is coming right now is this. Let's go with the nostrils. Okay, I'll come in and fill it in a little bit, that gray, that little area. Actually, I'm going to do it now. Just cleaning this up a little. Okay. Now I'm going to do the mouth. So remember the mouth starts over here. Comes down, comes back over, and up. Okay. We're going to outline the eye. Each, each eye gets an outline, so we'll start, we'll start with this eye. Now we start the outlining on the head first. Usually we work our way from top to bottom. This way, if I do any outlining over here, when I put my hand on the canvas, this paint's gonna be wet and it can get in the way of me working on, working on top. So we're doing all the outlining here, up here on the head and then we're gonna move our, work our way down. Now this eye right here. Okay. We have a couple of eyebrows. Can outline the eye, they're not, actual eyebrows or their uh, creases right above the eye so starting about right over here somewhere come over the top of our eye like that same thing on the other side okay just like that okay, actually I'm going to give you guys I'm going to get a little closer with the camera that's a little bit better okay now let's let's do some outlining on the face what's going on here okay okay here we go right up in here we're gonna go around the this ear Other ear. Over the top of the head. We're just basically going, going, going to go through and outline everything all the way across. OK. 
Okay, other side. You guys notice what I do with my finger? I find a dry spot on my canvas and put my finger down and it stabilizes my hand. Makes it easier for me to draw with. Okay, right in here, there's a little line that goes in. From this, so this outline right in here goes up into the head a little bit. So right up in this little corner, simply come in, go like that. On the other side, and then come down and in, down. You don't have to go all the way, all the way across. Come in a, a bit and then leave a little gap. Let's see. It's okay, guys. I'm seeing a few, a few of you guys that are saying you don't like your painting. Don't stress about it. Again, the main thing is to have a good time. You'll learn a little bit. You're pushing yourselves because this is a little bit of a difficult painting. Push yourselves, and you will learn in the process. Okay? You can come back and do it again later. Try it again. The more you practice, the better you will get. Okay? So just take your time, have fun, don't stress about it, and if you want, come on back. Practice makes perfect, okay? So don't stress out about all this. Enjoy it. All right, let's continue outlining. Right over here. Comes down. Okay? Again, we're just outlining everything on this head. Underneath the chin. Over to the other side. In this case, I'm putting my knuckle right up against my canvas. Keeps my hand nice and steady. Nice and easy, folks. Nice and easy. Again, we're not stressing here. We're just having a good time. Whatever happens with our painting, that's what happens. But in the process, we have some fun. Okay, what I want you guys to notice is the little horns up on top. I covered mine up with paint earlier. I'm just going to come in here and outline them a little bit so they stand out. Again, they're little triangles, right? They're basic little triangles with curved bases. Curved, they're curved at the bottom. And then everyone's painting is going to look different at the end, okay? Everyone's piece ends up looking different. So, if yours doesn't look just like mine, if you're painting with somebody and it doesn't look just like theirs, it's okay. All right, let's look at that face. I think we got everything in there as far as our outlining goes, all the little details. So, that's all good. I'm going to give you guys about a minute and then we're going to continue outlining the body. Okay. Once we have everything outlined, everything starts to make more sense. It starts to look more like toothless. Then we can go in there and add some details on the inside. We still got our snow bank underneath him and then the sky to do. Okay. For those of you that are going to be doing those. I do have glitter on mine. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but on the original, it does have a little bit of glitter. Okay. We'll see if there's a little time left over in the end. We'll add glitter to it for those of you that have it. If you don't have glitter, don't worry about it. You can always add it later if you want to get some. I'll show you guys the kind of glitter that I use, okay? All right, let's look at those comments, see what we got. The eyes, we'll be doing, so we outlined the eyes already, the colors on the eyes and stuff, that'll be coming later. Okay, I'm checking out the, uh, the comment section now. Hi, Dior. Again, guys, is anybody celebrating any birthdays today? Tomorrow, the day before. When's the day before? Yesterday. <laughs> anybody celebrating any birthdays? Put it down in the comment section so we can say happy birthday to you. 
Summer says, I love this. Me too, Summer. Glad you're loving this. This is always fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Brushes that I use. I'll show you guys the brushes that I use at the end. Okay, I showed them before we started painting. I'll show them to you guys again. That's right. Every painting. Aaron says, it will be unique in their own right. Absolutely. Every painting is unique. Okay, so again, I don't want you guys going, oh my gosh, mine has to look just like Jesse's. It does not. Have fun with your toothless. Mandy Ingle. Birthday, her birthday is January 21st. Jalen Dior, January 8th. Awesome. Happy birthday to you guys. Be, uh, early birthdays and belated birthdays. Awesome, Penny. Zach, what's your son's name? So we can say hello to him and happy birthday. Aaliyah says my birthday is on February 14th. All right, Aaliyah. Happy early birthday to you. Cindy DeSoto. Hi, Jesse from LA. Either that's Los Angeles or Louisiana. Not sure which one, but hello to you. Summer says my dad has a birthday tomorrow. Awesome. Happy birthday to your dad. Hi, Jalen. <laughs> Candace. Candace's daughter says my birthday was last year. <laughs> Let's see. My birthday is January 23rd. My name is Eliza. Hi, Eliza. Okay, well, happy early birthday to you. To you, It's almost here. Dean. All right, Dean Christensen. Happy 12th birthday to you. Everybody say hello to Dean. Awesome, Dean. Thank you for joining in today. Hope you're having fun on your birthday. And then... Shaza says, my son's birthday was yesterday. His name is Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. All right, guys, here we go. Let's continue with our, our outlining. So back to, back to our little skinny brush. Remember, folks, if you're new to acrylic painting in between steps, anytime you're done with a brush, put it back into your water cup. Okay? Here we go. Continue with the outlining process. Now we're going to start down here on the outside of that body. We're going to come down over all the way down to the edge here. And here where the foot is. Okay, I'm going to stop right there for now. Okay, I'm going to come over to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, so this outline comes all the way through and down. Okay. Let's outline, outline the tail. So the outline starting at the point comes down like this. So I'm going to take the paint right now. I'm going to take this paint to create these little, the little straps. It just basically rectangles on that tail later on we'll come in and add color to them okay but little rectangle little rectangle you can barely notice them on the on my painting for the moment but once we cover those up with paint it's going to make a lot more sense okay continue with the tail other side ran out of paint so I'm just grabbing some more from my plate bringing it over to the mix plate can't forget to add some water to it so I take my brush put it into the water cup a couple of times bring some of those water droplets over mix them up with my paint okay don't forget press the brush into the plate pull out pull it away and spin it as you do so okay um, Let's outline the fins. Actually, I'm only outlining the fin on the left. Once we paint the fin on the right, then we'll, we'll outline that one also. 
Well, let's work over here. We'll start it up, right up on top here. This line that comes down for the shoulder. Okay. So this line, sorry, back to this line here. Okay, then down in here. I have this gap right here with a little bit of white coming through. I'll come back and cover that with gray later. Now I'm not doing my nails yet. Once I add the snow underneath, I'll come back and add those nails. For now though, I'm not doing anything with the nails. Okay, and there's that line for that front part of that leg. Come over to the other side right in here, the chest, come down, curve that in, goes back, touches that leg. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a couple moments on that. I know there's a lot going on. Hi, Sully, and hello to your mom, Caroline. Your birthday's February 3rd, huh, Sully? Awesome. Happy early birthday. All right, Priya, happy birthday to you. Awesome, looks like we're celebrating another birthday, Priya. Okay, here we go, more outlining. Okay, so right here, we're gonna outline this foot. If you're having any, any difficult time with the outlining part of it, you might wanna make sure you've got enough water in your mixed into your paint. The water makes it really easy to outline. Water does have to work for you. Okay, now this side over here, come around, curve it back under. There we go. Okay, over here. Remember, this is that part of the foot. And then we have to add this over the top, top part of the foot. I covered mine up with my gray paint, but that's okay. There's the top part, and then we got that little line that sticks up right there. And then down here. Okay, what's left to outline? Well, we're gonna outline those wings. Okay, right over here. Start with the top, come over. Go right under. Again, I'm using my pinky to help support my hand. I've also got my non-painting hand. I put it right here on the table. Let's do the other wing. Don't forget everyone, I'm gonna ask for you guys to send me pictures of your masterpieces, your toothless masterpieces when this is all over. I like to see what you guys paint, so 
Uh, only send me pictures if you're 18 or over or check with your parents. Have them send me the picture, okay? Please do not send me anything if you're under 18. If you're under 18, please check with your parents first. And what you'll do is you'll go over to uh, Messenger here on Painting with Jesse. And you'll send me a little message and attach the picture to the message and that would be awesome. If you guys are painting in a group, et cetera, et cetera, whether you're painting by yourselves or in a group, if you guys take a picture of yourselves holding the painting, even better. If not though, just send me a picture of your masterpiece, okay? So again, when we're all done, not now, but okay. Work on your outlining for a little bit. There's one more thing I wanna add and the little segments on the wings. So each of these little, so, so uh, let me show you on the original. The wing has little segments, little lines in here, kind of like a bat does. Okay, so we want to add those. Right here. There's one there. Maybe another one goes out to the other wing like that. Maybe we got one that goes like this. Over here, same thing. We got one that comes over like that. Goes down and in towards, sorry, it goes out towards the little points. Another one over here. And then maybe one more. This one too, we'll give this one one more. Okay, that's a little close up right there. So this video will be available, just reminding, I've seen some questions in the comment section. The video is gonna stay up at least for a couple of weeks. The recorded session for today will be up for at least a couple of weeks. You'll find it under the live tab on the main Painting with Jesse page here on Facebook. Just head up to the Painting with Jesse page when this is all over. The, the recorded session will live right there. Okay, so let's paint the eyes in, the outside of the eyes, that yellow green or green yellow if yours are just yellow, that's perfectly fine. If yours are green and yellow, that'll work. If yours are just green, that'll work too. I'm taking my little, my little number two flat brush. It's got some black paint on it, so I'm gonna clean it up. I swirl it around my water cup. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm going to squeeze out the extra paint. I'm gonna grab some yellow. Okay, I'm going to bring that over to my mix plate. I'm going to find a little clean spot. Now I'm going to take some green, a little bit of green, not too much, just a little bit. And I mix the two together. Some yellow, some green. I'm making like a really light, really light, light, almost like a fluorescent green it looks like. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to come in on the inside here. By now, all this paint around the eyes is dry, so I can come in here. Don't have to worry about grabbing that wet paint and bringing it to the inside of the eye. Sometimes it happens. Okay, there's that. We'll go over to the other eye now. There we go. Okay, so work on that for a moment. I'm going to grab a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown, and maybe a little bit of yellow. Whoops. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown to this fin over here.
Don't eat a lot of brown, so I'm just going to take some right out of the jar lid. A little bit of brown like this, using my same little number two brush. Whoops, not on that plate. I want to put it over here on my mixed plate. Now I'm going to grab some yellow with the same brush. Yellow off of my main palette. Whoops, wrong spot, over here. I'm going to mix the two together, a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow, just making a lighter brown color. Once I have the colors that I want, and everyone's color is going to look a little different, so don't worry about it. Use whatever you've got. Just going to come in here. I'm going to make little adjustments to this fin. So it looks a little bit, a little bit more like the original, like the one on the left in size. Even though we drew it a particular way, we can always make adjustments with the paint. In other words, our pencil lines, our sketch doesn't have to be what dictates how our painting is going to be. As you saw there, I just made an adjustment with the paint, made this a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna come in here and paint in the straps little straps that connect it to the tail, right? All right. Very cool. So take a moment on that. You guys got about a minute, minute and a half to get caught up here. What we're going to do next, we're actually going to work on the snow and on the background. Okay, then we'll come in and add some highlights. We'll let this dry as we're working around over here doing stuff. We'll come in and uh, add a few little highlights maybe some dark sections and we're good to go okay so about a minute let's take a look at those comments still got quite a few of you guys on hanging out with me so that is fantastic i appreciate all you guys being here you guys are awesome hope you guys are having as much fun as i am Again, folks, don't forget all the fun stuff that's coming up. We got our bowl, polar bear and Aurora Borealis painting on Thursday. That's, that's again, that's quite a bit more complex. A lot more steps involved. That one's going to take a lot longer than this. And it's open to all ages. So we're going to have a lot of adults painting on here with that too. I'm sure we have lots, we have quite a few adults painting with us today. And everybody's welcome. But that polar bear painting on Thursday, Thursday is definitely going to be quite a bit more complex. Everyone's invited though. And then next week we've got our, our little sloth, molasses. We've got um, our giraffe painting on Thursday. And then the following week we got Among Us. And I'm, I'm busy figuring out what we're going to be doing in, in uh, February, so stick around for that. Okay, and then again folks, for those of you that can and are able to it is greatly appreciated i do have a virtual tip jar i've got a venmo at painting with jesse okay all one word you can also use my my email to find me at painting with jesse at gmail.com sometimes they ask you to verify my phone number which is 951-217-2237 on venmo and this is also my zelle how you get to me on zelle and then PayPal, paypal.me forward slash painting with Jesse, all one word. There's also a link to this in the description of this video. If you guys can help support the page, it is greatly appreciated. Okay, so there is that. Okay, all right, everyone. So let's continue with the painting. We're going to work on the background first. Whatever color you guys are going to do for your background is up to you. I'm going to stick with my light blue color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some really light blue by... Um, I'm going to make some light blue by mixing uh, white and blue. Okay, so cleaning up one of my brushes here. I'm going to be using this big brush. I'm going to be using this big brush to do my mixing, so I'm cleaning it up. OK, 
Okay, once I've sloshed it around inside the water tub a bit, I will kind of do this, squeeze out all that extra paint. I'm going to use one of my old plates with a bunch of dried paint on here to mix my color on. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of this white, I'm going to bring it over. Okay, found a spot right here on my plate. Now I'm going to take some blue. Don't need a lot of blue, but I do want to lighten, I want a light blue color. Okay, so mix the two together. Again, you guys can choose to do a different color background. I know some of you guys aren't using acrylic paint. Some of you guys are using colored pencils, etc. All good. Whatever you guys have. Crayons, chalk, will all work. Okay, there we go. And that's a good enough color for me. Take my brush, put it back into that water cup. I'm going to go back to it in just a little bit. But first, I'm going to be doing some outlining. I'm going to take my number six flat brush little little half inch actually quarter inch flat brush that's about half inch again whatever you guys have this kind of similar to this is fine what i'm going to do is i'm going to dip it right into my paint and i'm going to do all my edges first i'm going to outline now i usually don't so all this outlining that we did on the head, I usually don't do that till last, but I know some of you guys may not be doing a background. So we did that first before we did the, before we do this background stuff. Um, but just be careful, you know, stay on the outside edge of your outline. You might have to come back in and refine your outline a little bit more. Later, you might have to come back in. If you cover up some of your outlining with this right now you might have to come back in and refine those edges a little bit later but just do your best Once we have everything outlined, I'm about to finish here. I'm also going to outline my horizon line. I did that over here too. Okay. Make sure everything's nice and outlined. I'm going to switch brushes here in just a moment. All these little areas in here, I just want to paint this in first. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my big brush. Okay, scoop up a bunch of my paint. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and add in that background. Now you can use nice long vertical lines like this. Or you can use horizontal lines. Or you can use little choppy lines that go in different directions. All up to you. For this painting, I'm going to go ahead and use these little choppy lines. Usually I paint smooth backgrounds, long brush strokes. I've already demonstrated that a bunch of times on this page. So for today, we're going to change it up a little bit. For those of you that have painted with me before, it gives you a different look, different idea. back and forth almost like I'm making little crosses I can kind of do this or I can just using kind of a random pattern but short little brush strokes be careful when I get close to the ears and the horn the horns and stuff So what do you guys think? Should we do Light Fury soon? 
maybe next month we do Light Fury. What do you guys think? Let me know in those comments. Say, yes, Jesse, I want to paint Light Fury. Somebody says, no, Roblox. Roblox is coming too. We're going to be doing Roblox also, so stay tuned for that. And then again, everyone, if you guys have a YouTube channel or your pay, or you know your parents, this goes for all the adults, of course. Check with your parents first, of course. Please, everything has to go to your parents first if you're underage. For those of you parents that are hanging out or those of you adults that are doing these, if you guys have a YouTube page, please go and subscribe to Painting with Jesse. I just recently began to get active there. I am going to be doing some live streams there. I'm actually going to be doing simultaneous live streams to Facebook and YouTube. I've been doing some testing on that stuff earlier this week. Actually, yesterday. Spent most of my day working on that. So please go and like my page over there. Follow, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. Painting with Jesse. Just like here. Same name. Painting with Jesse. And you'll see me, you'll see my picture on top. There's already a bunch of videos there, old recorded sessions from Facebook that I've up uploaded to that. Okay. All right, guys, there's my background. Work on yours for a bit. And in just a moment, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this now. I'm going to be just come in here with this lightish blue. I'm just going to add a little bit down here to the bottom. The shadow underneath Toothless's body. We're going to come in and add some gray in here also to mix in with this light blue in a bit. But for now, just start with whatever color you used for your background. Just kind of come in here and do a little bit of that. Just a little bit. Okay, again, in a bit, we're going to come in and add some gray over the top of that. All right, lots of yeses on Light Fury. Heather Herrick says, my daughter Emma would love Light Fury and Stormfly. Her toothless is coming along great. Fantastic, Emma. Those are great suggestions and happy that your toothless is coming out nice. I like it. Brenda Page says, shout out to Gamer323PageJR. Shout out to you. Hi, Elia. What's happening? And then again, I got another... Another yes on Light Fury. Okay, Light Fury is going to be coming next month then. Okay, make sure you guys um, follow the page so you guys get notifications on that. Maybe by then I'll be doing regular feeds on YouTube as well. And I'll be doing like, again, again, the idea is that I'm going to be doing live feeds to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Okay, but all right, everyone, let's continue with the ground down over here. So what I'm going to do now is I've already added some light blue down here. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of my gray that I still have mixed from Toothless's body. I don't need a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to find a spot here where I grab some blue also, and I, I kind of mix the two together. It's a little bit, um, a, a little bit, uh, um, what's the word I want to use? Uneven. I don't mix everything up where it's all one color. There's some grays and some blues. I just kind of do a quick mixture like this. All right, it's a little bit of a dirty mixture. That's what I'm trying to look for, a little bit of a dirty mixture. I'm also going to grab a little bit of white, a little bit, okay, and do the same thing. Just kind of go in and mix the, all three of those colors together, but I want it to be swirly like this. I don't want, to be, I don't want a perfect blend. Now what I'm going to come in and do, I'm going to do this down here. Find little areas underneath where I just kind of have a little bit of blue coming through. I have some gray coming through, some white. This is the shadow underneath Toothless. Now, I'm using this big brush still. You can switch to a smaller one if you need to. Okay, there we go, just like that, it comes up. Okay, now I'm gonna take a bunch of white. Okay, a bunch, a bunch of white. And I can bring it over to my, actually I'm gonna use my other mixed plate over here, the one that I was originally using. 
I mix it up a little bit, but it's mostly white. Okay, with all the stuff that was still on my brush, that kind of mixture of colors that I just had a moment ago, still on my brush and it mixes in with that white. Now I can come in here and add some of this color. Carefully, you don't use too big of a brush. A big brush makes it easy to go over your lines, to go into areas that you don't want. So I'm actually taking some chances here. It's smarter if I switch over to a smaller brush, more efficient, but, but that's all right. Not too worried about it. So coming in here, over here on this edge, okay, kind of over in here, I come in a little bit. So this is, this is the shadow underneath Toothless, right? All right, more white. Need a little more white. So I'll grab some more white with my brush, bring it over. So and then I'm going to add it up here. I am going to be switching brushes here in just a moment. Right here is where the danger zone is. Okay. Put that brush right back into my water cup. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab my number six. Use a paper towel to clean it, or just wipe off that extra paint. Go back to my white paint, or mostly white paint, and right up here at the top. Kind of outline a little bit. Remember, this sail still needs to be outlined in black. So work on that for a little bit and what we're going to be doing next we're getting close to the end of our session probably another 20 30 minutes if that um, we still want to add a little some some detail on the inside now a couple of things keep working on your snow for a moment okay we could go in and add another layer of paint over everything to even out our colors right so let's say I was painting this for myself I'm sitting here painting along and I I've only done one layer of paint on Toothless's face and body. I would come in here and add another layer to even things out, to clean it up, make it more refined. It's not necessary for this painting, but I could. Cleans everything up real nice, okay? However, oh, so, sorry, and then over that I'd come in, once that second layer dries, I'd come in and do all the little darker sections, like darker in the wings, darker up in here. Those little areas that got have a little bit more of a darker uh, hue to it, to them. I'll come in and do that after that. In this case though, we're gonna go right to these dark hues and it'll work just almost just as well. Okay, but we'll be doing that here in just a bit. So finish up on your background and we're gonna get moving on that, um, on uh, the, dark, the dark areas of the face. You guys got about a minute if you guys are still working on your background or on the snow don't worry about that okay this is very this part of it's pretty important so if you guys want to do the the dark lights low lights up in the face and the body like I'm about to do you guys want to watch this and follow along you can always go back and do the snow part later okay so 
and then of course you always have the recorded session to go back to. So I've got this original gray that I did on the body, okay? I still got quite a bit of it left. If you don't have any of your original mixture, go ahead and make another batch. What you're gonna do this time though is you're gonna take a little bit of black and you're gonna mix it in to make a darker. So I'm taking some black, a little, not, not too much, but I'm gonna mix that in to make a darker shade of this. It doesn't have to be super dark and the difference doesn't have to be like super, super noticeable, but you do want to be able to, to look at it and go, oh yeah, I can see there's some darker areas on the face and on the body. So again, I just took a little bit of black and I mixed it in and I could see it there on the plate that this area is darker than this. Okay, even, so right there on the plate, I can already see that there's a difference. What I'm going to do with this color and I'm using my smaller brushes here. I'm sticking with my number six flat. Once I've got a uh, color here that's dark enough, different enough, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add this to the top of the face, starting here above the mouth. Covered up my nostrils a bit. I'll come back in with some black later. And this color might be a little too dark, so let me lighten it up just a bit. Went a little overboard on how dark it is. Okay, so I just added, added, added a bit of white to my mixture to, lightening it, to lighten it up. There we go. This is the color that I want. I'll come back in in a bit and redo my nostrils. So I'm just kind of going, I don't, I, I'm not making a super even coat in this case. I want some of that original gray to pop through here and there. So I'm just taking, there's very little paint on the tip of my brush and I'm just lightly dabbing now, especially towards the top. This gives the face a little bit of dimension. Here's the lighter part of the face underneath the chin and then over the top. So I'm holding that brush back towards the back of the handle, just lightly dabbing. Again, no, I don't have a lot of paint on this brush. I'll add some to the ears. A little bit makes a big difference. Over here. Okay. How's that? I like it. Okay. okay, once I've done that, I can go ahead and take some of this and I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to work my way down a little. Again, very little paint on the brush, just using mostly the tip of the bristles. With this layer of this darker paint, Toothless looks he looks less flat. Before, with just the one coat, with the one shade all throughout, he looked kind of flat. This gives him a little bit of dimension. When you get down in here to the uh, towards the chest and on the legs and stuff, follow the curvature of his body. So don't go straight all the way across because that's gonna that's gonna make him look flat. Doesn't give him that slightly slight 3D effect. Curve. So even on the face, curve right. Kind of following the shape of that face up in here round it over just follow the curve uh, follow the shape of the of the of his body whatever it is that you're adding this to just a little bit and then we're going to do this to the wings we can't, can't forget the wings and if i cover up my black lines that i created earlier which i am doing now i'll come in and add those i'll put those back in no big deal Okay, a little bit. Okay. Work on that for just a bit. I'm looking at the comment section.
He says, I got about 150 people hanging out today, 150 devices. I know a few of you guys are working in groups, so that is fantastic. Just want to thank you guys for being here. I know this is kind of a long painting, but all good. We're having fun, and that's what's important. <laughs> oh, Dean says, can you give me a cake? I think it's Dean. The Mandalorian. Who wants to do the Mandalorian? Remember, we did Baby Yoda last week. Let me show you. For those of you that might have missed it, let me show you guys Baby Yoda. you guys missed it this video is still up now this is a lot more complicated than today's right a lot more detail a lot of adults came and painted this so did a lot of kids but the video is still available you guys can go check that out under the live tab on the main painting with Jesse page I did provide a stencil for that but I also taught it completely from scratch but all right guys here we go let's continue with the shading okay back to my little brush I'm going to do a little bit of this a, bit, a little bit of this shading down here on at the feet. Now in this case, I'm just kind of painting a little bit of, a little bit sideways. Slightly dabbing a little at the base of the feet. Same thing over here. We still got to add the little nails. Don't need a whole lot of shading in here. Painting up at times and then sideways at times. Down. Sideways. Okay, down in here. Down in here is especially dark, right? That's underneath him. So the shadowing down here is going to be a lot more obvious. Here on the sail, I'll do a little bit on this fin. I think it's called a sail on a dragon, I'm not sure. Okay, now I am going to take a little bit of black, same brush, just going to dip it into my black paint. Whoops, picked up some white by accident, so let me. Okay, and then I'm going to do this right in here, where this starts to dip down under his body. Now I can use my finger to just kind of Spread this around a little. Okay, then I'm also going to do that down in here. Again, this is under his body, so it's going to be a lot darker down there than it is everywhere else. Back in my water cup because I'm not using that brush anymore, or at least not for the moment. I'm going to go back to my skinny brush, my little liner number zero round brush. I'm going to take my black paint again, dip it right into that paint, remember push up against the plate, spin as you pull away, and I'm just going to come in here and add the little lines back into the wings. go all right everyone take a moment or two to look at your tooth list continue with what you're doing I am going to take a little bit of gray and clean some of these little areas up on the inside where you can still see some of the white of the canvas coming through 
I'm just taking my brush, getting some of that original gray that I still have left on my plate. And then I'm just going to come in here and clean these little areas up, areas like that. Okay, areas like this. Just trying to get rid of all the white that's coming through my canvas. Okay. Coming through my painting. And then I forgot, need to add the nostrils back in. There we go. Okay. Just going through and cleaning up some of the lines on the inside of the face. And I might have covered up with some paint around my edges. So again, if you, when you did your, your background, if you ruined some of your edges, some of the black outlines, just go through and fix any, ed, any of those edges. Okay. There we go. All right. Taking a little step back, looking at Toothless, see if I'm forgetting anything. I think I've gotten it all. Um, I would do another layer on this. Okay, actually, I'm going to do that now. And I still want to outline that too. So let me do that. And then we're going to do glitter. For those of you that have glitter paint. If you guys don't have glitter paint, don't worry. You can add this part later if you want. You don't have to add any glitter to yours. But I'll show you what mine looks like. In case some of you might want to order it, who knows, or buy it, whatever the case may be. So again, my, my uh, sale was a mixture of brown and yellow, so I'm just going to do that again. Go over the sale real quick. Whoops, wrong canvas, Jesse. Okay, go back to my black and my little brush here, and we'll go through an outline. Missing this little part in here on the sail. Little tail, there we go. Okay, guys. Glitter it is. We're gonna be adding some glitter, so let me grab mine. <clears throat> Give me one sec. So here's the glitter that I'm going to be using today. It's glitter. It's actually glitter floating around in glue. Okay. It's uh, this is a brand called Galaxy Glitter from Deco Art. You can pick this up at Michaels or Hobby Lobby. It's about three dollars for this bottle without a coupon. If you get a coupon, you can get it for like forty percent off, fifty percent off sometimes. But another brand that I like to use, and I'm out of the, I'm all out of this gold one, but it's called Craft Twinkles, also from Deco Art. Okay. So these are two of the ones that I I use. I'm going to be using this color right in here, okay? And this stuff basically, like I said, is simply glitter floating around in glue. And the way this works, when you add this stuff, you want to clean your brush pretty well. You don't want any wet paint on there because it'll mix in with your, with your glitter and it won't look very nice. It'll, um, it'll make it look dull. So, and then also wherever you add it, you want to make sure that the area is nice and clean. So I'm just going to take some of this, 
We're going to start right in here in the chest area. All this is nice and dry, so I'm not concerned that it's that the paint's going to mix in with the glitter. There we go. There's that. Maybe I'm going to add some to the feet. Oh, the nails. We didn't do the nails. I'm sure somebody probably already mentioned in the comments, hey, Jesse, you didn't do the nails yet. So we'll add those here after glitter. How's that? Okay, I'm just going to work in my glitter in the wings a bit. I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of what this glitter does. It's really cool. It's just painting right over everything, as long as it's not wet. Okay, then I'm going to do the, the horn, the, the horns, the ears. And I'm just dipping my brush right into the bottle. Down the middle of the face. Underneath the eyes. go cool before I do nails let me show you guys a close-up the claws his claws we're gonna do these little look at that how cool is that okay again you guys know if you don't have any of this you don't have to do it now you can always pick that stuff up later if you want and add it at a later time but let's give uh Let's give Toothless some nails and then we're going to sign our paintings and we're good to go. So where's my black? Right over here. I'm using my little skinny brush. Now, these are pretty small nails. The talons are small. I think talons are probably more appropriate. Okay. So spin my brush. Make the point nice and skinny. Start down here. On the left. They're almost like long, upside down triangles, curved, slightly curved. There's one. Here's another one. Okay. And maybe this foot, let's see, should we give another, a third one? Sure, why not? on this foot maybe we have a little one that barely sticks out there on the side foot's pointing that way maybe we can see another one right in here okay then on this one one Okay, one more foot, one more paw. And then this one only has two nails that we, see, we can see, two talons. Okay, that one. And then one that's really close to the other foot. All right. There they are. And there, my friends, is Toothless. How cool is that? Very last thing we do is we sign it. You can pick whatever color we'd like. I'm going to stick with my dark blue here that's on my plate. 
to mix a little bit of water with it. Makes it easier to work with. Okay, spin my brush a bit. I'm going to sign mine with my last name. I'll sign over on this side. Sometimes I sign with my first name. You can sign with your initials. Just like that. Done. So what do you guys think? Awesome Penny. What do you guys think? Did you guys have fun? I know I did. So don't forget everyone, all the fun stuff that's coming up on the page, okay? If you guys, if you guys are new today, if, you, if this is your first time painting with me, please be sure to like the page. Follow the page so you get all the notifications. We've got a lot of fun stuff coming here in 2021. You guys don't want to miss out. Also, you guys can help by inviting people to join us. <clears throat> Invite your friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Invite your family. When you post your pictures on Facebook or on Instagram, tag Painting with Jesse. Okay, those are all super helpful. It helps bring people over and it grows the page. Also, again, don't forget, YouTube streaming is coming really, really soon. So if you guys haven't yet, please go over and subscribe to the page. Same name, Painting with Jesse. Okay, so also, very last thing, don't forget to send me pictures of your masterpieces. Okay, send those over to me on Messenger here at Painting with Jesse. Take a picture of your stuff and uh, send it on over, okay? All right, guys. Oh, the brushes. Yes, let me show you guys my brushes. So I'm actually going to show you guys a couple of different brands that I that I use. And these are basic brush sets, okay? Give me one sec while I grab the other one. Hold on one sec. Bear with me, folks. Okay, this is the first pack that I showed you guys earlier. All the brushes that you saw me using here throughout this painting were all part of this pack. Okay, so. Keep in mind that those brushes that I was just using were part of this. This is a multi-pack, 25 pieces. Comes in with 25 pieces in here. Okay, this is a, the brand is called The Fine Touch. And these are all synthetic bristle brushes. There are some sponges in here. They include things like this. Uh, we don't really paint too much with sponges, although eventually I might incorporate some of this into my paintings. But they also have these neat little uh, palette knives. These are called palette knives. These are plastic. Uh, can use them to create some really cool effects. Now, as of yet, I've yet to use a pal palette knife in any of our paintings, but in the future, we'll probably be using some. Anyhow, this is a pretty complete brush set for all of your good basic brushes that you normally would use in a painting. 10 bucks, and I believe I picked this up at I want to say I picked that up at Hobby Lobby okay you can also order these online pretty good starter pack no need to go buy really expensive brushes to start once you get started and you realize that you really do enjoy painting you can you can start to uh, upgrade you can upgrade brushes because there are some really nice brush sets out there brush types that really help your painting. Uh, they have, the nicer the brush, usually the nicer you can paint with them. But at the beginning, there's really no reason to go crazy. Another brand that I often use is, um, 
Give me one second. Actually, these I picked these up. The ones that I'm about to show you, I picked up on. Um, uh, I got these from Amazon. They come in ten packs. Now these are smaller brushes. They don't have the big brush like, like I showed you guys over there. But this was about six bucks, I think, five six bucks. It comes with all the smaller brushes. That's a less less of an assortment, but it actually works pretty well. This is about six bucks on. Again, I like to use synthetic bristle brushes. This is a, about a half inch, um, three quarters inch brush right there that comes in really handy, and then you got a bunch of smaller brushes after that. Okay, so those are good. This is the AROIC. Now, I've been using these for the past few months, and they work out pretty well. Okay. Then the other thing that you want to do whenever you're done with your brushes, one thing that I really recommend is when you're done, you clean these up with soap and water and then when once you've washed them after you're done you want to reshape the bristles you want to do this when they're all nice and clean you reshape them put them back into their original form and then you want to store them either facing up like this facing up or on their side what you don't want to do is store them face down like this with weight on the bristles that will bend them. Okay, it'll cause them to bend and you don't want that to happen. But all right, folks, we're all done for today. Again, I want to thank all of you guys that joined in today. I really do appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed our time today. A lot more coming in 2021. February is going to be a pretty busy month. So if you guys haven't yet, subscribe to the page or sorry, uh, follow the page, like the page so you get all the notifications. You guys saw all the paintings that I showed you guys earlier. And then, of course, for those of you that would like to help support the page, please go to my virtual tip jar. It is in the description of this video. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so very much. I will talk to you guys all very soon. Please do not forget to send me pictures of your masterpieces. Okay. See you guys all soon. Bye-bye.